What's up everybody, welcome back to Chill Outdoors. This is a video that several of you wanted to see. The last video I did was Rush Tackle Box and I had like over 50 comments to do those. It was pretty close call, but at about 35 to 40 comments, people wanted to see Warrior Tackle Box. So we went out and got one. I went ahead and ordered off their website directly from them. We're gonna go through this box. I'm gonna show you what's in there, how much I paid for it. And uh, well, I guess you can see for yourself if it's something you would be interested in and if you think it's worth the money. So like in all my videos, let me just say I'm not sponsored. I paid for this box. I'm not sponsored by anybody else. I'm not sponsored by any fishing companies. I am not nearly cool enough to be sponsored. There's always somebody in the comments like, oh, he's sponsored by so-and-so. That's why he's saying this or that, or that's why he's saying this is good or this is bad. I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just what I have to say and my thoughts. I think you'll actually be kind of surprised by what I think about this box um, because a lot of my reviews can get kind of negative. Some of them are pretty positive, but I think you'll be surprised what I say about this. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe right here on the channel. The channel has had extremely good growth this summer. I mean, we are just, we are leaps and bounds above where we were this time last year. I cannot thank you guys enough for all of you that have subscribed and that comment on every video. There's probably what, 30 or 40 of you who comment on every single video and I just can't thank you guys enough. I might start doing the shout outs again. If you think I should start doing shout outs again, drop a comment below. And of course, go check us out, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I did take a break. Basically all of July, I didn't touch the channel. I worked on my house, worked on the boat, worked on my truck, just did some stuff. Just had to take a break from YouTube, but I'm back. And we're gonna go through all these boxes and we're gonna get the giveaway going as soon as possible. I am still waiting on not only this month's subscription from one company, but I'm waiting on one of my packages from last month. You guys would probably be surprised at who is not sending me my stuff in a timely fashion. Sorry, there's a cicada being attacked apparently above me. And you know what? We might just have to move on without that company. And you know, I'll let you know if they get their act together and I'll let you know what all happened, but I don't wanna say anything yet. I'm gonna give them a chance. Um, but their time is, is dwindling. And like I said before, I'm not gonna get sponsored by any of these people because I keep paying for all the other competitors' boxes. So, <laughs> I mean, what's it matter if I make somebody mad? I mean, look what I did to LTB. You know, the neck scarves, and a lot of people don't like these, but I think out of all the companies, this is probably the baddest emblem, right? I mean, this thing's pretty sick. Yeah, check that out. I like that, it's not bad. Some of these are really itchy. This one is not, this one's pretty good. I bought some cheap ones offline and they weren't very comfy, so. I kind of like this one, so, you know, not a big deal. It is what it is. A lot of people are giving out scarves, especially with the COVID stuff going on. Let's see, they give you a little, uh, like I guess you could say a receipt, and it has everything listed on here that you should get. Let's talk about something that Warrior Tackle Box does that a lot of you are probably gonna wanna know how I feel about it. Lucky Tackle Box, you guys know, I have dookied on them more than once. And they put their name on knockoff brand stuff. And sometimes they don't even put their name on it. You know, they send you stuff that's like foreign remakes or they're like just uh, repackaged and they're like no name brand. And they don't even have a website. LTV is just a huge scam. Warrior Tackle Box has their own brand of lures. So I know some of you guys are wondering, how's he gonna feel about that? Because I have completely dookied on LTV so many times. But you know what? Let's just take a look at them. Let's look at their branded stuff first. One of the first things that I saw when I opened this package was a lipless crankbait. And I immediately noticed that it was a Warrior Tackle Box package. My first thought was, well, this is probably some piece of junk. They're putting their name on it so that way they can fill the box. But then I was like, okay, well, it's got VMC hooks and VMC hooks, obviously very well-known company. And then I was like, you know what? It's not just the packaging. They actually have their little Spartan helmet emblem. They have their logo in the eyeball. So even if that's like a glued in eyeball, that's actually kind of cool. It looks really cool. I started looking at the paint job of the actual bait and it's actually a pretty sick little paint job. I just said in my last video that I love like baby bass colored items and I would assume that's what this is, either some kind of a perch or a baby bass. I don't see a color listed on the package. It just says color number two, um, but it's like a baby bass pattern. And then it also has their name on the top of the bait, Warriors. So they've done a few things to customize this so that way you know where this came from. If you just throw this in a random tackle box, it's not gonna just fade away and you don't know what it is. They got their logo on it, they got their name on it. It's got good quality hooks. Oh, it even says like a number on the bottom. Oh, it's the size. They have the size written on the bottom. So they've done a little bit of work to this. So first lure, a lipless crank, definitely has rattles in it. Maybe a uh, like a baby bass color. So this other one, again, their package, VMC hooks has Warriors written on the top, has the, it looks like the size or, yeah, 60 millimeter um, on the bottom. 
And this is like a shad color, but with a brown top. Very interesting kind of a color. It sounds like it probably has knockers in it. It's just, uh, it's called their D5 crankbait. It's a square bill. Again, with the little logo in the eye, I think that looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. So, I don't know how it runs. I cannot attest to how it runs. But visually, it's, it's pretty visually appealing. I'm not gonna lie. I guess you would call this like a classic shad color. Gray, yellow, white, brown. Um, but there you go. So a square bill. You know what? I forgot to tell you how much I paid for the box. I think I actually paid like $50 for this box. I think I paid for like a really expensive box. But anyway, so after their two branded stuff, let's just call these the cheapos, right? Because is this a brand name item? No. So let's just say two cheap lures, but then a Chatterbait Freedom, Z-Man Chatterbait Freedom. It is like a swing head jig bladed bait. I don't know that I've even seen the, a collaboration between Z-Man and Freedom. It says, for best results, Texas rig with your favorite Elastec paddle tail swim bait. It's like an offset hook. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's really cool and I don't know how much this is worth, but I'm guessing this is expensive. 3 8 ounce blue and black. Yo, if you've ever used this, comment below, but I think I'm gonna rig this up tonight and throw it. I mean, visually I can tell this is an expensive lure. I don't even know how much this costs. I bet this is a 10 to $15 lure. Probably not as much as a jackhammer, but still. All right, so there's that. And then another name brand product, a Lunker Hunt. I believe this is a topwater, it is. It's called the Pencil Popper and it's in Guilty Pleasure. Oh, Guilty Pleasure. Um, just your typical Lunker Hunt popper. It's like a long minnow shape. There you have it. Again, another good name brand item. Let's see. I never know how to say this. Somebody's gotta tell me how to pronounce this. Tell me in the funniest way how to pronounce this in the comments. Castaic? Castic? I'm sorry, short. It's a frog. It's kind of a smaller sized frog. I don't think I've ever used one of their frogs. I might have one. This is just called CF50 Sexy. It's like a gray frog with the little tassely legs. Let's go to these just because they look odd. So these are called Vital Series by Z Bait Company. They're a Ned Rig. They're called Slugs. They look exactly like an Elastec. They have like dots on one end and little ripples on the other. And this is called Morning Dawn. It is a red, white, and blue lure. So I don't know if this is a 4th of July edition or if these really work somewhere. I'll just straight up say it. I probably wouldn't pick this color. If I was going to go to the store and buy something off the shelf, I'm probably not going to pick this color. It almost looks like a novelty color. So on to another soft plastic. Big Bite Baits. Can't go wrong with them. Pro Series. This is the 4 and 3 quarter inch Coontail Green Pumpkin Texas Red. It's a super fat ribbed worm. It's like half red, half green. They look wicked. And that's two different colors that I really like. I like dark green and I like red, but I don't think I've ever had anything split down the middle like that, especially in a ribbed worm. I don't even know what I would throw this on. A coon tail. Just for reference, I would not call these sample sizes. These look like full size packages. A lot of people are worried about that because there is companies out there that give you sample sizes. These are not sample sizes. These are full packages. Eight in here, seven in here, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. This is by Fish Head Primal Spin. This is like a bladed jig with an additional spinner, and it's a beautiful color, dark green and orange. Green pumpkin primal spin, a quarter ounce. So a bladed jig with a spinner. These are silver blades. Then we move over here to this. This is a fish head product as well. It's a chartreuse yellow head with just a gold underspin blade, and it's also by Fish Head. I don't know that I've ever heard of Fish Head, but it looks decent. They're out of uh, Cartersville, Georgia. We got a website here if you guys are more interested in that. I haven't thrown an underspin a lot this year, but it just hasn't seemed to kick off for me. So I know a lot of people start fishing them really deep and slow. Eh, I don't know, maybe I'll give it a try. And of course they give you a sticker. Now I gotta admit, they gotta have one of the better looking emblems. I don't really tell you guys what I do for a living, but I do like the warrior mindset. So I like the warrior emblem. So there's probably only like what, two things in here that I wouldn't use typically, but one's a name brand item and one's just a color that I don't like. So I don't know that I can hold that against warrior supply or warrior tackle supply, but Everything else in here is pretty legit. So what are my final thoughts? Yes, the one I got was a little expensive, but there is a lot of good stuff in here. I'm pretty impressed. I even don't mind their name brand items. I'm not gonna lie. Now I need to go out and make sure that square bill runs true. It did take a little while for me to get this. I ordered it um, at the beginning of the month. I think I paid for it like July 1 and I didn't get it in the mail till last week. So it took like two weeks to get, but considering I'm still waiting on packages from last month, from a very well-known company. I guess I can't hold that against them. I'm gonna give them a good review. I'm pretty happy with everything in there, but like I said, I did pay a lot of money. So if you're trying to stick with a cheaper option, I don't think their big box is worth it for you. I mean, ringing in at 
that's expensive for a lot of people. So I don't blame you at all if you say, well, I can't afford that, I don't want that. But it would be interesting to see what their lower end boxes have inside them. And if they hold up the consistency and the, the value, of what this big box was worth. We're gonna get the giveaway going as soon as possible. I think I'm gonna set maybe like a participation limit and if we cross that limit, I think I'll do a six month or maybe do two, three month. You know what, comment below, would you rather see two people win a three month subscription or would you rather see one person win a six month subscription? Comment below what you would rather see and you know what, we gotta get this going soon. We gotta get it going soon. Well, I gotta get this going at least before August. Stick around, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all those who comment and participate and check out our social media. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Good luck on the water. Peace.